Welcome back to Teaching Tuesday. Today we're going to be making pom-pom poppers. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but we're going to use paper towel tubes or toilet paper tubes and balloons to make these crazy things where we can shoot a pom-pom up in the air. You're going to need a number of different supplies for today's project. First of all, you're going to need at least one paper towel tube. Uh, I have a couple that I've already chopped up a little bit, so if you have more than one, that's great. Uh, you could use toilet paper tubes. This is about how big a toilet paper tube is, and I know everybody's got toilet paper. So that will work. You're going to need a couple rubber bands. Uh, rubber bands. These are balloons, aren't they? Balloons. I've got some little ones, and I have some big ones. You can just decide which one's going to work the best for you. I have some different kinds of duct tape. You can use any kind of tape you want to, but duct tape is really good and sticky, and you're going to need that for at least part of this. I have a pair of scissors, a pencil, a ruler if you want to be specific in your measuring, and I have some pom-poms because it's hard to pop a pom-pom if you don't have one. You can also make these little guys. You can use marshmallows if you would rather. Um, just check with your parents before you start shooting marshmallows around inside. This is a good thing to do because it's been hot and so this will be a fun activity that you can do inside. Are you ready to get started? Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start with a paper towel tube and my ruler, I'm going to measure four inches. Four inches. That's also how big a toilet paper tube is. It's four inches in length. So I'm going to measure here. There's the four. So I'm going to take a line. I'm going to put it right up here. You see that? On the edge so I know where to cut. Now I'm going to squish the tube just as much as you need to. And I'm going to cut that right across there. See that? Pop it back out so it's nice and round again. And I'm going to need two of these. This is something that I've discovered from the first time I make. I'm going to use the same. I didn't do a mark on that one. I just measured it to be about the same length as this. When the first one I made, I put a rubber uh, a balloon. I keep calling them rubber bands on the end and it caved in. You see that kind of squished in. So I work to reinforce it. This is what I did. I'm going to take one of the tubes and I'm going to cut straight down the side. See that? And now I'm going to put this tube inside my other tube. You just kind of work it, work it in there. And then I'm making sure that that one end is really well lined up. You see that? So the two ends are together here. That's going to make it a little more stable and you're going to need that because otherwise the balloon is going to cave the end in. Now to make that stay, I'm going to use a piece of piece of duct tape. You can use any color you want. I happen to have some purple. Put it around the end like this, just like as a decoration, but leave some of the tape so that there's space on the on the end. That see, it's not stuck to anything. See that? Now you've got the two ends that are lined up inside, and bend this down, this tape down, and stick it as tough as you can to the inside. That's going to hook those two pieces of tube together. You can just kind of push around in your hands. It makes it a little stronger. See that? This end, I think I'm going to decorate this end a little bit too. Hmm. I think, I think I've got some of this, this fun teal color. Let's see how much is here. I don't know if I have enough. It's right at the end of the roll. Nope, not enough on that one. Okay, I'll just use purple again. So I'm going to get another piece. You can use scissors for duct tape, but it actually tears pretty well. So I'm going to tape this around this end just because it's a decoration. It's pretty. I like it. You could color the end of the tube. You put stickers on it. 
crayons, that would work too. Crayons are markers. I'm just putting the edge of that inside too because it keeps the sticky part from sticking onto the pom-pom. You don't want it to do that. Are you ready for the next step? The next step is we're going to need a balloon. Now I'm going to use a little balloon on this. We'll see how this works. The first thing I'm going to do is tie a knot in it. Don't blow it up. You don't need to do that. I'm going to tie a knot in it before the next step. So the way I do this is I wrap, I put two fingers out, stretch the balloon around my two fingers, and then when this comes around, I can tuck that little end right underneath that. See that? And then when you pull it off of your fingers, you've got a knot. See that? Let me show you again. Let me show you again. Here we go. This is a little balloon. Hold it down here. You can wrap, stretch it, wrap it around your two fingers. Behind your knuckles, there's a little break in between your fingers. Just tuck that right under there. Ah! Get your finger out of the way. <laughs> and pull it tight. And you have a knot there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, the balloon, in half. See, this is the part that gets the air in it. So I'm going to cut this. My scissors have got duct tape glue all over them. So they don't cut very well right now. I need to clean them off. Okay, so you've got a balloon and you want to keep the part that's got the knot in it, where you put the knot there. You can get your fingers inside it. What you're gonna do is the side that you've reinforced, I'm gonna stand this up. Fingers, you need some help with this one. So the knot's in the middle and you're gonna stretch this over top Ah, of the tube. <laughs> you may need someone to hold the tube for you so that it doesn't fly away. There we go. And so that it doesn't come off, I'm going to wrap another piece of duct tape around there, around the edge of the balloon. See that? So just cover up the edge of the balloon. And you're going to go all the way around. You can put your fingers inside if you need to help stick it down. But that's going to hold your balloon in place. This, you're going to be able to pull on. That. I think I'll decorate with, I've got a little bit of uh, green metallic here. So I'm going to put another strip around the middle just because it's pretty neat. I like this tape. Ah, there we go. Sometimes when it sticks together, you can't get it apart. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that snazzy? There you go. In order to launch this, you're going to put a pom-pom in, place it to the bottom, pull back, and it's going to pull, pop your pom-pom out. Did you see that? Now, the farther you pull it back, whew, the farther away your pom-pom goes. Now, I know you might be thinking, this is great fun so I can shoot them at people. Don't shoot them unless your parents or grandparents tell you it's okay. So what I did is because after a while, shooting people with pom-poms is maybe not the best. It gets boring after a while. So what I did is I got a big bowl and I got several pom-poms. And what I, what I do with it is that I take it and I ah, try and get the pom-poms into the bowl. See that? It takes a while. You can practice and you can see whether going straight up whee, works. Oh my gosh, it got into the bowl. You guys look, there are two of them in there now. <laughs> so you go straight up and it comes back down. When you hold this sideways, the ball falls toward the bottom and it doesn't get the main force that's going to pop it out. So it may not work as well that way. You can experiment and see what it does. Here's one I've made out of a paper cup. This I used a bigger balloon on and it, it works too. You just have to try different ways of making your cup work. You can have two people and say we each have one and we're going to practice 
and see who can get the most pom-poms into the bowl. That would be fun. And it's great for doing inside um, because like I said, it's just hot outside right now. Or if you get a rainy day, you can do this inside and it's not going to hurt things. Again, don't shoot it at people or at things without clearing it with your family to make sure that that's okay. Uh, especially if you're shooting something that is going to hurt them. So only pom-poms. It's a pom-pom popper. That's what I call it. It's a pom-pom popper. So I hope you have a great time. All you need is a paper towel tube or a toilet paper tube or a cup and a balloon and some tape. And you've got it made. Have a great day. Bye.